What's up, you guys? Thank you for clicking on this video. So as you can tell by the title. All right, now this is a topic that people have been talking about on and off the past few years since, you know, the inclusion of SS86, the inclusion of Gamer Edition, and on top of that, kind of the designers putting fuel to the fire with this topic, talking about um, in some interviews, whether it's San Diego Comic-Con or just regular interviews that they've done over the last few years, uh, talking about how they would love to do Prime and animated characters in Studio Series at some point down the line once they get through some of the other movie characters and what have you and Gamer Edition and stuff. And it really does feel like it's a plan that they have in the back of their heads for the future of the line in Studio Series if it does go on for that long. Now, I don't know how long Studio Series is going to last, if it's going to be like a thing like Marvel Legends or Star Wars Black Series for Transformers where it goes on for another 15, 20 years or something crazy like that. That would be nice. I mean, I've been saying this for a long time and thinking this for a while now that Transformers needs one dedicated toy line that just runs for as long as Hasbro can do it, that's just aimed at collectors where we get highly detailed, articulated, accurate designs and figures for characters. And it really does feel like Studio Series is slowly but surely becoming that catch-all for just screen accuracy, highly detailed and articulated transforming figures. I definitely do feel like it is something that they want to have a long-lasting effect with Transformers, and it's something that they don't want to end for at least the foreseeable future. I mean, we know at least Studio Series is going on until about 2026, maybe 2027. After that, we honestly don't know what Hasbro could do after with a more movie, show, screen accurate type toy line. But all signs are showing that it is something that Hasbro wants to keep for a while, for the foreseeable future at least. Because Studio Series does sell extremely well for Hasbro, especially Studio Series 86, the Bayverse stuff. Both of those are probably the biggest sellers in Transformers right now, and especially for the Studio Series line. And then Gamer Edition, it just kind of seems like an added bonus for sales for them in the Studio Series line. So it's a no-brainer that Hasbro would keep Studio Series for even longer than what they've already done with it, you know? But with Animated and Prime going forward, we've been getting the Legacy Generations updates uh, for the past couple years now. It's been hit or miss. A lot of people like them. A lot of people don't like them. There have been good figures, bad figures. I think the majority of the animated ones we've gotten so far have been pretty great. Like, getting Auto Troopers and Motormaster and Wasp from Animated in the mainline generations now is freaking insane if you think about it. Those being either canceled figures from 15 years ago or being convention, botcon, fun pub exclusives from 10, 15 years ago, now getting mainline releases, you now see these figures and characters in stores like Walmart, Target, Amazon. Like, this is a pipe dream that Transformers fans wanted 15 years ago with these characters, and we're now getting them, and it's just amazing. So, at least with Animated, it's been something serviceable, but with Prime, I really do feel like they kind of have this thought process in the back of their minds of, yes, we want to improve things a little bit here, because it does seem like the newer Align continuity g one fied Chug figures have been a bit better. Like with uh, Cliff Jumper in that four-pack and Chase, those are some pretty good Align continuity figures. The Wreckers subline bulkhead isn't too bad of a repaint. Um, but overall, just the RC, the Knockout... The original bulkhead, the breakdown reuse, I really don't think they're great figures to be used as prime representations in the g one fied you know, unity that they've been going with here for the past three, four, five years, where all the sublines and continuities are put into one aesthetic. I've never really liked that, but it is an idea that I think is interesting if done right with certain characters in designs from other continuities. Like, I would love a Lugnut and a lot of other animated and prime characters, honestly, I would like to see uh, how Hasbro would handle under a G1-ified lens. 
But the fact of the matter is, it's been hit or miss, especially with the Prime stuff. And it feels like Hasbro is kind of, you know, holding back with these regular generations updates so they could put them in a more screen accurate generations studio series umbrella because a lot of people seem to forget especially i notice in my comment section sometimes that it seems like people don't realize that studio series is also classified as generations if you go back through history the last 10 or so years the movie sublines have been labeled generations since Age of Extinction. I remember this was a big topic of discussion when it was first put on the packaging, when Hasbro first put the Transformers Generations logo on the Age of Extinction packaging. People all over the internet were like, whoa, wait, what? The movie stuff is now a part of the Generations line as well. Like, what could this mean for the future? And then a few years later, we get Studio Series and all this crazy stuff starts happening. And we start to see the full umbrella on why Studio Series is put under Generations with all the other, you know, lines that we've been getting since 2008 about. And now it makes the most sense, especially if you bring in stuff from other continuities that's not even just prime and animated like we're talking about gamer edition armada figures that we we're getting devastation in studio series gamer edition next year under i think some of them are target exclusives or whatever we also have reactivate under studio series there's just so many different continuities and lines that have nothing to do with movies nowadays that are labeled under studio series i mean we've heard the designers talk about them wanting to do comic book, you know, studio series figures because when they when they define the studio in the name of the subline, a studio could be a comic book studio, video game studio, movie studio, all that stuff, cartoon shows, everything. All that stuff is on the table. So studio series, the future, how I see it, is this catch all subline within generations that is more so dedicated to screen accuracy whether it was a video game comic book cartoon or movie and then regular generations that isn't studio series is more so about just creating generalized depictions of these characters in a figure form that fit under one unified uh, design philosophy, which would be the G1 aesthetic. If you put it that way, it really does make sense, and it really does seem like Generations is splitting off into two different uh, sublines here for the future. Studio Series, more so for screen accuracy stuff. Doesn't matter who it is nowadays, it can be anything from uh, you know, cartoons, comic books, video games, it doesn't have to just be movie figures anymore, which is amazing if you ask me. I honestly think this is a great idea, guys. And then, you know, regular generations is just generalized designs and redos. We've already seen this with Armada and Beast Wars. If you look at the designs from the show and you compare it to the new updates in generations, it's more so... Like, they do take liberties here and there with the design. If you look at Armada Optimus, Hotshot, Megatron, Starscream, the Beast Wars characters we got a few years ago, um, every figure isn't really spot on to the design. And I really do feel like that's an excuse, however many years down the line, if Studio Series is still called Studio Series or if it's got a different, you know, subline name, but it still has the same philosophy of the line giving us screen accurate versions of characters that maybe we'll see beast wars figures in studio series or armada redos or whatever so i really do feel like it's going to be this catch-all thing in the future and they've been building up towards that since 2020 but um yeah animated and prime definitely happening in studio series if you look at the signs Everything in the last couple of years, it's definitely aligning to something with them in the line. And even the designers have talked about doing it at some point soon. And when could we expect this? I'm thinking maybe 2027, 2028 at the earliest. I really do feel like 2026 for the 40th anniversary of the 86 movie. They're going to try and knock out a lot of, if not all of those characters. 
so they could move on to the next subline within Studio Series that would be more cartoon accurate characters and figures that would apply with Prime and Animated. That's what I think the plan could be, but obviously I'm just speculating and I could be wrong. But yeah, guys, let me know, let me know down in the comments below. How do y'all feel about Animated and Prime being in Studio Series at some point soon? When do you think it will happen and what do you think it's going to be like? All my social medias are linked down below, including my email if you guys want to hit me about business inquiries, if you want to message me about whatever, or if you want to commission a diorama from me because I make dioramas for people for their stop motions, photography, or your regular display shelves in your homes. You can either hit me up on any of my social media accounts or just email me and we can work out a deal. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Catch y'all in the next one. Bye!